welcome back to my channel welcome back to another day of vlogmas so today i thought i would take you guys on a little trader joe's shop with me trader joe's food haul because as you guys know i am obsessed with trader joe's i love all things trader joe's i love the food i love everything so i thought i would just share with you guys the items that i always reach for the items that i must have in my fridge at all times the items that just make my life so much easier thought i would just take you guys with me show you guys what i shop for as well as do a little haul today because I have no groceries here and I need to do like a big grocery shop. Usually I go to three different grocery stores, um, Trader Joe's, then I go to like Stop and Shop for all my Caribbean stuff and then Whole Foods for typically like my grains and oatmeal and stuff like that. But first stop, Trader Joe's, which is the number one place that I go because I'm out of everything that I love from there. So just gonna re-up so i hope you guys enjoy this day of vlogmas it's going to be very chill today just gonna get some groceries stock the fridge that sort of thing so okay, yeah all dressed and ready to go to the grocery store i have my little bag here this is my grocery store bag i like to call it it has all of the things that i need you know for like a grocery store trip so my face mask sanitizer and all of that and renee's actually picking me up because i haven't seen her in over a week and she's actually just driving back from her parents house for thanksgiving and i just got back from la yesterday so we haven't seen each other for over a week so I'm excited to see her because we haven't like I haven't like seen her in person for like a long time. So yeah, let's go downstairs and meet her. She also needs stuff from Trader Joe's, so it works out. So it works out, and um, yeah, let's head downstairs because I think let me track her again. Last time I checked, she was about 10 minutes away. Let me see if she's made. Oh yeah, she's here. So let's head downstairs. All right, guys, made it to Trader Joe's. Renee's here. You guys will see her in a minute. She's trying to find her keys. <laughs> And um, yeah, made it to Trader Joe's. Renee, come, they missed you. Oh my God, it's been so long. I know, I was telling them that I haven't seen you in like a week, which is like so, not like not a thing. Hi guys. Hi guys. So um, yeah, Renee's here, We're gonna like jump into Trader Joe's right now. I know they don't allow filming in here, but. Really? I feel like they don't. Every time I film, I don't know if it's because it's only me, but they're always like, no filming! Oh my god. Alright guys, I doubt they can film, but see you in a minute. I am home. I actually took a little break. I came home and I ate some dinner because Renee's mom sent me dinner from Thanksgiving and I just ate that. It was jerk chicken, oxtail, rice and peas and some red snapper fish. So so now I am full and I can do this grocery haul in peace. Shopping while hungry is the worst idea ever. I went um, a little bit crazy in there. I was grabbing things because I was hungry. Shopping while hungry is never while hungry is never a good idea. Um, I have a couple things here. So first things first, I got some chai tea latte mix, and this is the spicy chai. It can be served hot or cold. Definitely a favorite of mine. I haven't seen it in Trader Joe's though for a couple weeks, so I'm so happy that I found it today. So this is the spicy chai tea latte mix, a must. I really enjoy this. Next thing I have in here is some extra hot habanero ghost pepper salsa. 
I am such a salsa person, but it has to be spicy. If it's not spicy, I literally will not eat it. So extra hot salsa, yum. I also got a little bag here of jasmine rice because I love having jasmine rice in the house for um, stir fry dishes or with macaroni rice, whatever it is that I have. I love some jasmine rice and this is the one that I get from them. Then I got some spaghetti. I love having spaghetti in the house. Next up, I got this organic honey crunch and oats cereal. If you like granola or like that, you have you ever had like honey bunches of oats? You know those little crunchy things that you just love so much? This has so many little crunchies in there and it's amazing. So this is just what the cereal looks like. I love having the, I love having this. Then I just got some extra virgin olive oil. Um, I only have vegetable oil here. And there's some certain dishes that olive oil just pairs better with. So I just desperately needed a olive, olive oil. This is what it looks like. Then I just got a thing of onions. And then I got some pasta sauce. And this is the tomato basil marinara sauce. And I just got two trays of eggs so just the large brown eggs I probably should pose for a thumbnail moving on we have some fettuccine alfredo you guys know i swear by this product it's just the fettuccine alfredo this is such a easy thing to just have in the house and whip up really really quick and easy it's delicious i also decided to try out the linguine with clam sauce i've never had pasta with clam sauce before to be quite honest with you but I decided to give this a try because why not it might be like really good because i love seafood pasta then i got this chicken chow mein i've had this one before it's like a really good like low main dish. Whenever you have like a Chinese food craving, I suggest eating this because eating these because they definitely hit the spot. And actual Chinese food from the store is just so much like MSG, fat, oils, all that bad stuff. So this will hit the spot whenever you feel like you have a Chinese food craving. Then on the topic of Chinese food. There's this mandarin orange chicken that I totally recommend. If you guys like general so chicken or orange chicken or any of those kind of dishes, this is going to be perfect. And I also have the air fryer now, so I'm just gonna pop them in there too so they can just get nice and crunchy. Then add the sauce on top. Then I got this Thai shrimp gyoza, or gyoza however you guys say it. I love these perfect little quick snack especially when I'm working throughout the day like filming and stuff and I don't really have time to sit down for like an actual meal this just comes in so this just comes in clutch for me because it's just easy to just throw in the pan fry I also have the dumpling sauce that I recommend you guys get to eat your dumplings with um, do I have it oh my god I'm out of dumpling sauce wait am I oh no I have some <laughs> So this is the dumpling sauce from Trader Joe's. I have some in the fridge, but not a much left, but it's a classic Asian dipping sauce for everything Asian, it says. But um, it's just a dipping sauce, and this is perfect for just dipping egg rolls, gyozas, shrimp, whatever. Like, you're gonna love this. So I also saw this beef pho soup, and it's like this noodle soup, and um, it's Vietnamese-inspired beef and rice noodle soup. Keep frozen. Um, I also got these two things of ice cream. These are my favorite ice creams to get because they are so miniature and tiny. See how the hand is holding the ice cream cone? They are that small. One in vanilla, one in chocolate. These are a really great treat to have, especially if you are watching your figure. I also got the chicken soup dumplings. These are delicious. I also got some chicken pot pie because these are just, again, quick and easy dinner things to make whenever I'm feeling lazy and not feeling like cooking. So I love going to Trader Joe's for that reason because there's just days where I just don't wanna cook and 
this is where this comes in, you know? Like these are very quick and easy things to make. And throughout this whole Vlogmas series, you'll probably see me make a couple of these things, so don't you worry. Also got some roasted corn. I am a corn lover and I will throw this in like the thing I showed you earlier, right? For example, let's say I'm making the stir fry. I would throw some corn in there. Let's say I'm making some soup. I'll throw some corn in there. Let's say I'm making some chicken stir fry, corn. Let's say I make the pho, um, corn. I just love corn, you guys. Love it. Then I got some artichoke spinach dip. If you guys have never tried this from Trader Joe's, please go and try it. Um, I got some beef meatballs to go with the spaghetti that I bought. Anyways, I got some organic 1% milk. So the final bag I have here is this one. So I got some spinach and it's just like the regular baby spinach. So I can just throw this in like my omelet and stuff. I got some broccoli because I need to eat my veggies. I haven't really had a lot of vegetables this past week, so I need to get on that trio pack. So the red, the orange, and the yellow. I got some thyme, my favorite herb. Put that on everything. I got a whole thing of garlic. I got three potatoes from mash. I got some cracker cut sharp cheddar cheese. I love cheddar cheese, you guys. I simply just grab two from the tray and just eat it like that. I just love cheddar cheese for like a snack. Then I just got this Mexican style cheese blend and this can just be sprinkled into omelets, quesadillas, anything like that. Also got some shaved Parmesan cheese. Good. I like shaved Parmesan cheese only. I also got two more bags of fettuccine Alfredo because I told you I love them. So I got three bags. Then I got this Kansas style barbecue sauce. This is amazing. I got some chicken breast that I can't wait to just bake with that sauce on it. I also got some raw shrimp, peeled, levered, and tail on. I love this shrimp from Trader Joe's. I love Trader Joe's shrimp. I literally love their shrimp so much. I also got these three things of organic cold brew coffee. When I tell you this is the strongest coffee I've had in a long time, and I'm an espresso drinker, okay? But nothing gets me going like this cold brew. It is so strong, and this is what it looks like. It's like the perfect, 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 perfect coffee. And the creamer I like to use is either the vanilla or the hazelnut. This time I went with the vanilla because Vanilla creamer is just more versatile to me. Like I can put this in my coffee, I can put this in my oatmeal, I can put this in my chai tea latte. As opposed to the hazelnut, like not every time I'm feeling the hazelnut vibe, but vanilla, I'm always in the mood for vanilla because it's vanilla. So this is the vanilla creamer that I have. This is the longest grocery haul ever. I'm just like chatting about everything. I also got three shots of No Joke Ginger. It's a juice shot. Um, it's a blend of coconut water, ginger, lemon juice with added cayenne pepper. Um, if you guys are just one of those people, I love a good juice shot, you guys, to just kickstart my immune system, wake me up. The final thing I have is just some um, chicken breast, and this is just the organic, boneless, and skinless chicken breast. This is the tag. And the reason why I got this is because I wanted to make like a stuffed chicken so like a mozzarella cheese and spinach stuffed chicken with like mashed potatoes i feel like that would be really yum one day and then yeah but you guys will see me cook throughout this vlogmas um whole thing i know cooking is a big you guys love my cooking videos so i definitely i'm gonna do a lot of cooking in this series to show you guys what i eat on like my day-to-day -day and stuff like that so that's pretty much it for this grocery haul. I'm just gonna be putting all of these away now and also gonna wipe down the fridge because I definitely need to clean the fridge out and just kind of like get it ready for the new groceries. And then, um, so I'm just gonna put this away for now and I will see you guys tomorrow.